Alright guys, I'd like to talk to you a little bit uh, about the truth between gun control, <clears throat> myths, a little bit of myths and facts and some statistics, uh, and how the media spins it. Uh, I'm going to try and match up audio off my camera to this PowerPoint and I really hope it works, uh, but you'll be able to, if it doesn't you'll get the idea. Uh, first let's look at some of the real statistics. Now, let me start off by saying that some of the statistics I had to get from different years because I couldn't find the same statistics for uh, a variety of different stuff, but you'll get the idea, and, and the numbers really don't vary that much from year to year. But in 2005, 11,346 people were killed by firearms violence, and that's every one of them that died. That's horrible. I'm not disputing that. However... That same year, 16,855 people died in DUI-related car crashes. Uh, notably more. I mean, it's a good percentage more. Uh, another 16,000 people, 185, were killed in non-DUI-related car crashes. Uh, another 893 people were carried, killed in airplane crashes. Uh, and that just includes the major crashes. I couldn't find any data on small planes. This is all in 2005, mind you. And then I couldn't find the data from 2005, but <clears throat> from a reliable source, that is. But in 2007, 1,500, I'm sorry, 158,683 people died from lung cancer or cigarettes. Uh, so, that's a huge percent more died from lung cancer so contrary to what the media wants you to believe gun violence is not what's taking more people's lives than anything but we're always talking about banning guns so let's look, dig a little bit deeper into that uh, now let's find out for a second why the government doesn't want to ban cigarettes cars or alcohol in 2009, the only .org, which they consider reliable information that I can find, the federal government took in 8,521,260, I'm sorry, $8,512,263,000 in taxes. <coughs> Excuse me. Just from the sale of tobacco. That's it. That is an embedded tax that is added to every pack of cigarettes that is included in the price that the, the, the manufacturers and or wholesalers pay before you ever see it at the counter to buy it. What that works out to is, well, let me back up here, the states took in another $15,753,355,199 in sale on tobaccos. The first number is federal tax second number is state taxes, but we're going to combine that all and call that the government. That's 24 billion, yes with a B, billion dollars in tax revenue from the sale of tobacco. So you take our earlier number, divide that into the money they make, that says for every person that died, the government made $152,918 per person killed. Okay, what about alcohol? In 2005, the government took in $5,125,140,000 in state tax revenue. The federal government took in another $75,194,000,000 in tax revenue. That's a combined total of $80,319,140,000 they made in state in federal tax state and federal taxes on alcohol in 2005. So if we decide, divide that into the number number of people that died in DUI related car accidents only, that means for every person that was killed by a drunk driver, $4,756,833 per human life. I got to note, these numbers do not include simple sales tax, the sales tax you pay at a state level uh, for each transaction at the counter. 
this is just their embedded taxes it is not sales tax that's important later now let's look at sell firearms in 1991 the government put an excise tax which is the pre-embedded taxes on the sale of firearms in, in, in the United States in 1995 for the only data reliable data I could find they took in only 52 million not a billion million five hundred thousand dollars on the sale of handguns in the United States and the reason why I went with handguns there is most people 85 to 90 percent was the data I could find are killed by a handgun but we want to ban guns so because the government is not willing to kill you for a measly four thousand six hundred and twenty seven which that's you take the 52 million divided into the number of people killed with firearms violence and you get four four thousand six hundred and twenty seven dollars well people say well people get some of those people were killed with long guns too alright let's add that in if you add in the sale of long guns you add an additional seventy one million two hundred and eleven thousand dollars in, in that same year 1995 this will bring our total tax revenue for gun sales to 12 million I'm sorry one billion I got my comma in there in the wrong place sorry about that one billion two hundred and thirty seven million one hundred and eleven thousand dollars apologize for having the commas in the wrong place uh, now you divide that all up the government is willing to kill you for ten thousand nine hundred and three dollars they want to ban guns so why are we not willing to kill you for ten thousand and nine hundred and three dollars but we are willing to kill you for a hundred and fifty two thousand nine hundred and eighteen which is the sale of cigarettes per human life let's see if we can figure that out for a minute why are you not worth ten thousand dollars to the government but you are worth a hundred and fifty two let's talk about other taxes for a minute the average american will pay thirty two to forty cents on every dollar they make in sales and property federal and state income taxes uh, sales property federal and state income taxes so I went with 36 cents according to the US Census the average income per year is forty eight thousand dollars per person so if you take the average and I went with 36 cents the average person makes forty eight thousand dollars a year what you're gonna get is that means the average person is going to pay eighteen thousand two hundred and forty dollars a year in taxes sales property federal federal and state income taxes eighteen thousand two hundred and forty well that means you're worth more debt alive paying taxes than you are dead to them paying with for the ten thousand dollars in gun sales they're going to get they're going to make more money if you're alive than dead on the sale of guns however that does not that doesn't hold true when we start talking about what they make on alcohol and tobacco that's why you don't see any government flunkies in congress jumping up saying "Ooh, we need to bail ban the sale of cigarettes they're killing people they're killing cigarettes are killing more people than guns don't see them saying that about alcohol again killing more people than guns the problem is you're worth more alive than they make on gun sales you pay more taxes but you're worth, worth worth more dead when it comes to the sale of alcohol or tobacco. Uh, more people die every day because of the sale of, alco of alcohol and tobacco than they do because of firearms. Uh, if you want to mix the three together, way more people die from alcohol and tobacco. But guns are, uh, you know, they don't make that much money, so they'll attack them. I cannot find data on how many people die because of firearms related death or people that committed crimes meaning a cop shot them or they broke into a house and the uh, the homeowner killed them you know inside their home or whatever I can't find that data but I have to note that the people the number of people that died from quote unquote firearms violence includes criminals so in my opinion that would bring that ten thousand dollar number down but we'll just leave it as it is so let's review ten thousand nine hundred three dollars per life taken is what the government makes on a gun the average person pays eighteen thousand two hundred and forty dollars a year in taxes to the government 
$152,918 per life taken is what the government makes on the sale of tobacco and four million seven hundred and fifty six thousand dollars eight hundred and thirty three four million seven hundred and fifty six thousand eight hundred and thirty three per life taken is what the government makes on the sale of alcohol now thinking about all the jibber jabber that comes from the government you hear about gun control the government run media at ads telling you to stop smoking but there's never talk of abandoning those even though more people die every year from tobacco than they do gun violence. And alcohol, well that's the government's cash cow, they make big money. So you don't ever hear anything about let's ban alcohol. About the only thing the government makes more money on is the sale of gasoline. The average, the average is about 18.4 percent of a gallon on every gallon of gas sold in the United States. This is not included in the earlier numbers, I need to point that out, of the taxes you pay. This is another embedded tax embedded into every gallon. This works out to $26,864,000,000 a year, which by the way is more than the evil oil companies make in profit. You know, they like to bastardize and jump up and down and scream, them oil companies are making too much money, as our illustrious non-president likes to say. But he's making more, the government's making more on the sale of gasoline than the companies producing the oil are but you'd ever see them offering to reduce the sale, you know, how much money, you know, 18.4 cents a gallon, you brought that off the price uh, off the price of a gallon of gas, make gasoline a more, little bit more manageable, but no, no, we can't do that. We've got to get our 18.4 cents a gallon. So, uh, gun control is not about keeping you safe or alive. It's not. For those, for everybody that jumps up and down and says, we'll make the streets safer. No, you won't. Uh, and I'm going to do another one of these on the cities with gun control and the cities without gun control. And we're going to decide which ones are safe, safer. Uh, raw data won't change anything. But uh, it's not about keeping you alive. It's more about the money, the, the fact that the government stands to make more, more money from you alive than they do dead on the sale of firearms. When it comes to things that they make more money than you're worth alive, well... You don't hear them about banning any of those. At least now you know what your life has worked to your government. So uh, that's just a breakdown without any of the politics. It is what it is. Uh, from your friends here at Double Tap Shooting School, I appreciate you watching this. Uh, like I said, I'm going to do another one of these on the breakdown of the sale of firearms. Or, I'm sorry. I'm going to do another one of these on the uh, firearm banned cities such as Chicago, Communist Chicago, Communist Washington, D.C., and all that. And then we'll talk about, you know, some cities that have either open carry or, you know, ever easily obtained, you know, weapons permits. As long as you're not a criminal or a thug, you can get one. In the meantime, what we need you to do is go get a pack of cigarettes and head to the bar. Uh, your government needs money. But just remember, leave your gun at home. I appreciate you guys watching and uh, have a good day.